charming staff serve crispy wrappers surrounding flavorful fillings and keep Duncan coming back to his favorite haunt. A casual place where the mood is light but energetic and the decor simple yet distinct. It's on College Avenue in Berkeley and it's called La Mediterranee. I'm Armin from Lebanon and uh, a lot of the recipes like the chicken silicia comes from my grandmother's recipe. As a child I remember going there on Sundays and I couldn't wait to get there. So I use uh, the same ingredients but I presented in a different way. Mediterranean food is uh, by nature a very sensual food. Uh, there is sunshine and lots of colors and lots of aromas and smells. And to add to that, the uh, finger food aspect uh, really makes it uh, more sensual and a lot more fun to eat that way. When we were looking for a restaurant in Berkeley, it was very important for me to have a terrace and possibly a sidewalk tables, you know, and uh, the Mediterranean uh, atmosphere just reminded me of cafes and places in Beirut and Greece and uh, all over the Mediterranean. So I feel at home. Almost 30 years and I can still keep my smile and I do it with love. But one of my wishes was anyone who walked into Lamed, any Lamed, that would walk out happier than they came in. All right, Duncan, you, you think people should be dancing to the music here? I do. At La Mediterranee or Mediterranee? You know, um, I just say La Med most of the time. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, it's always so energetic. I, I wish they had a dance floor. They probably don't have a cabaret license, which is how that kind of thing goes. But <laughs> but you always feel the need to groove? I can do groove. some chair dancing, you know, get it going on. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. And what do you get when you're when you're there? Same thing every time for eight years. I get the three filo combo. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> yeah, we. Same thing for, for eight years, and and uh, a lot of my friends make fun of me because I'm always after the perfect bite. And what I'll do is I'll look at the plate, scoop up something, and you know add to where on my fork there are four flavors or more. Right. And I'll take I'll cut off a piece of the garnish they have. They've got like a little pineapple, little orange, uh, a right. little banana, and I'll cut and off a, a piece of that. Cheese too. Yeah, the Munster the cheese. Oh, yes. Yeah, the combinations are. If I was a mathematician, I'd just spout it off. But there's four cakes, four garnishes, and, and then, the combination of trying to get that perfect bite is just infinitesimal. Infinitesimal. <laughs> it's it, it just it just gets me going. All the flavors were absolutely amazing. Um, we saved the chicken one for last. Oh, okay, it was the, the chicken celia. Yes. With oh my the god. Cinnamon and garbanzo beans. We weren't expecting it so to it has be a little sweet. sweet character to it. Yeah, too. and it was almost like, is this the dessert filo pastry? Because that was absolutely shocking. And we had gotten the side with the lemon chicken soup, mm -hmm. um, and that was a flavor we hadn't ex weren't expecting, and it was absolutely remarkable. I think the flavors are sort of Greek with Armenian and Lebanese yeah. and it's definitely a Mediterranean yeah. obviously feel to the to the food. And George, what did you have on your visit? We decided to experiment Lebanese food. We weren't too familiar with it. And uh, my date had some kind of a cold soup. Yogurt was in there. Mm -hmm. And I had the hot just to have a little variety. Mm -hmm. And then the waitress recommended a uh, combination salad. We had a lot mm. of different vegetables and stuff and, and right. things in there. And, uh, but one of the highlights was the dessert. Mm. Uh, oh, we ordered a, um, a date, but they, they matched the date up and they put some kind of yogurt and cream with it. Mm. And it was really the highlight of our meal there. Huh, it was right. really the delicious dessert. Did you get a Turkish coffee with it? Yes, I did have a little, little <gasps> sip nice. of that coffee. Yeah, that's that, 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 that's that, a ceremony, that was, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I usually have an extra glass of Racina for dessert. <laughs> But, uh, Racina, of course, the sort of pine resin wine, yeah. white wine of Greece. <laughs> Only for some people. Yeah. Well, well they're, they're making much better Racina nowadays, so yeah. you can certainly get great Racina. We got the Lebanese um, beer. You know, mm. I figured since mm -hmm. we're going to a restaurant such as this, ask for what they have that's local, and they said it flies off the shelves. It was right. a really hot day when we went, and the beer just complemented the weather perfectly. What about the pomegranate chicken? Because they're certainly known, one of their signatures. I just tried it like four years ago out of the eight years I've been going there and I'm not kidding you reach down to pick up this drumstick on the way up 
it falls off the bone. Oh, it's boy. so nice. And what about service? How is service for you? Terrific. Terrific. Uh, every time I, the, the water glass got a dental low, right. they came in and reported fresh water. Anything else we can do for you? I mean, no, that, that is, no, the service was first class. I mm -hmm. had to ask for directions, and they brought us a map. Oh. Right. Yeah, and we were like, we're going somewhere else in Berkeley. How do we get there? And she's like, oh, we deliver everywhere. She brought oh, over a map, great. and they were absolutely fabulous. Yeah, I think they're actually getting better. They started out really good, but uh, they're picking it up. So this is your restaurant, Duncan. Mm -hmm. Give us a quick summary for people. Okay, it's uh, delicious flavor-mixing food. Um, treat yourself. Pick up a copy of The Magus and go read it with some Ritzina. Ooh, fantastic. All right, Patricia. I would say go and enjoy. Um, everything about the restaurant is fabulous. The waitresses are fabulous. The food is fabulous. And the atmosphere is fabulous. And George? Well, my date and I, we, we, enjoy, we enjoyed our trip there. Next time I'm there on a Sunday, I'm going to go to the Sunday brunch. It's really sounded inviting. All right, if you would like to try La Mediterranean on College Avenue at Ashby and Berkeley, you can call 510-540-7773. It's open for late breakfast, lunch and dinner every day with brunch on the weekends. Reservations are accepted for parties of seven or more, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $20.